the most important thing for managing communication inside a business is to reduce distractions, but also know that you have the right mode of communication to keep your team feeling like they're in sync and feeling like they're connected with each other. So Graham asks, I have a team member who sends me 30 to 40 Google chat messages every day. It's over the top, hugely distracting, genuinely unnecessary. Is there a way to block individuals from sending chat messages? <laughs> Similar to blocking on Viber or WhatsApp. Great question. Yes, you can block people in Google chat. Although if this is a staff member, I'm wondering why you don't just coach them. But if you are inside Google chat, and I'm gonna go ahead and open a chat here. So if I'm inside my Google chat here, I can go to any direct message. I can click the three dots on the left-hand side, and then I can go to block. And you can see here, they won't be able to message me. The messages will be hidden. They can read messages that I have sent. The most important thing for managing communication inside a business is to reduce distractions, but also know that you have the right mode of communication to keep your team feeling like they're in sync and feeling like they're connected with each other. And it's a very fine line. Instant messaging is great because it has everyone feel connected, but it's also a distraction factory. And so my recommendation is that you train your team to use a task-based or project-based management app for anything that is not urgent. And what I mean by not urgent is anything that does not require an immediate response. Think of chat as the digital equivalent of walking up to somebody's cubicle, knocking on the door and saying, hey, are you free right now? You're basically interrupting whatever flow they are in and you're forcing them to stop doing what they're doing and pay you attention. And so my recommendation is you don't use chat unless you are checking with someone and saying, hey, let's have a lunch break together or let's have a chat about something. Or hey, I've got this customer emergency that's just popped up. Are you free for a meeting now? Hey, is now a good time to have a chat? I mean, Google have other tools for that. You can look at someone's calendar and see if they're free or not. You can see if they're in a meeting or not. Google now gives you status so you can see whether someone's busy or not based on the status that they set inside their chat. Inevitably, people are going to use chat, but as much as possible, if you can try and have your conversations about work happening inside whatever your task management app is of choice, they will usually have the ability to add comments and have comment threads. What that does is that reduces the amount of interruptions that happen by using instant messaging. And it's my recommendation that you use those as much as possible. If you like this content, please hit subscribe and hit the bell notification so you can be notified when we go live or drop new content on the channel. Now, if you'd like to connect with us, hit us up on social media or join our free community group. All the links to that are right below this video. If you'd like to learn more about Google Workspace and the technology ecosystem, you can join our free Genius Academy by transferring your billing across to IT Genius, or you can join a Workspace Basics Bootcamp. Now, if you're a business owner and you're interested in an audit on your technology stack or your Workspace account, or you're looking to do a project in the tech world, well, you can take advantage of our free consultation. And if you need help right now, then consider joining Concierge or taking up a quick fix with our team for professional support for your tech stack.